Google is making some wild moves in AI right now. They've built a new tool to help AI make sense of the chaos in data, a mysterious image model with a bizarre name that's shocking people online, and a set of AI agents that could replace hours of developer work in seconds. It shows Google attacking AI's weak spots and pushing into new territory at the same time, so let's talk about it. All right, so the first big update from Google is Mangle a new programming language designed to help AI handle one of its hardest challenges, scattered and messy data. Here's the challenge. Modern software systems are drowning in information that spread all over the place. You've got dependency files, security reports, configuration data, and logs coming from dozens of different tools. None of it lives in the same format, and trying to connect the dots manually takes forever. For people, it's a headache. For AI systems, which need reliable facts to reason with, it's an even bigger barrier. Mangle is Google's attempt to fix that. It's built on top of Datalog, an older logic-based language, but Google extended it into something practical for today's world. Instead of forcing you to look at each source separately, Mangle lets you pull data from files, APIs, and databases and treat it as if it's all one logical system. That means AI tools and agents can run precise queries across everything at once instead of piecing it together bit by bit. One of the most powerful features here is recursive rules. In simple terms, Mangle can follow chains of connections step by step, no matter how deep they go. So imagine a project that depends on library A, which depends on library B, which connects to library C. If library C has a known vulnerability, Mangle can trace that entire chain and show exactly where the risk is. That kind of structured reasoning is essential if you want AI agents to act as real security assistants because it gives them explainable, verifiable logic instead of just statistical guesses. It also works beyond security. Take software supply chains. Governments are now requiring software bills of materials, or SBOMs, so companies can prove exactly what's inside their apps. With Mangle, you can scan those lists automatically, enforce version rules across thousands of projects, and highlight outdated or risky libraries. And then there's knowledge graphs, which are already a big part of AI research. With Mangle, organizations can represent entities and relationships as logical facts and then query them to uncover hidden patterns. For AI systems, that means having a structured, reliable foundation to build on when reasoning over large, interconnected data sets. Google also made sure this isn't just a research toy. Mangle is implemented as a Go library, so instead of running as a heavy standalone system, developers and researchers can plug it directly into their apps or AI pipelines. And it's not limited to pure logic. It supports aggregations like counts and sums, and even external function calls. That makes it flexible enough to mix symbolic reasoning with real computations or custom business logic, which is exactly what modern AI workflows need. So while it doesn't look as flashy as a new model release, Mangle is laying an important foundation. AI systems like Gemini are powerful, but without structured reasoning in the background, they're limited in how reliably they can handle complex, messy data. Mangle fills that gap, giving AI a logic layer that makes outputs more grounded, more explainable, and ultimately more useful. Now, while that was landing, something much stranger popped up in the AI world. A mysterious new image model started showing up online, and it had a name that's almost impossible to take seriously, Nano Banana. So here's what happened. On a site called LM Arena, which lets people test and compare AI models by voting on their outputs, users started noticing this Nano Banana model appearing in the lineups. And when it showed up, people were surprised at how good it was. The images it generated were sharper, more creative, and when asked to edit images based on instructions, it handled those edits better than most models they'd seen. Pretty quickly, Reddit and X filled with posts from people talking about it. Everyone wanted to know who actually made this thing. The leading theory? Google. And the hints were there. Just earlier in the month, Google had been teasing something image-related. Then Logan Kilpatrick, who's the head of product for Google's AI Studio, posted a banana emoji on X. Around the same time, a DeepMind product manager posted a photo mimicking Maurizio Catalan's 2019 art piece, the one with the banana duct taped to a wall. These little breadcrumbs made people think it wasn't just a coincidence, 
There's also the naming. Google has used the term Nano before for its smaller, more lightweight models that can run directly on devices like phones. So Nano Banana might not just be a funny name, it could actually mean this is a model designed to run locally, which would be a pretty big deal. And since Google has a big device event lined up, people started wondering if this model might make a surprise appearance there. Users who came across Nano Banana on Ella Marina said the results were impressive. It still struggles with spelling words inside images, something most AI models get wrong, but overall the quality feels top tier. So it hasn't been officially confirmed, but the signs are strong that this is Google's secret project. And if that's the case, we could be looking at their next big step in image generation. And then we get to Google Cloud, which just rolled out something that feels like the start of a bigger shift in how developers work with AI. They've introduced five new AI agents, each designed to take over a piece of the repetitive, time-consuming work that usually slows teams down. Instead of focusing only on code suggestions, these agents are built to actually run workflows and handle tasks that normally take hours of manual effort. The first one is the BigQuery data agent. If you've ever set up a data pipeline, you know how messy it can be, writing scripts to pull data from different sources, making sure it's clean, and then constantly maintaining it. This agent does all of that with natural language. You just describe what you want, and it builds the pipeline automatically. It can ingest data from places like Google Cloud Storage, keep it consistent with built-in checks, and even adapt when the schema changes. For AI systems, it means less boilerplate code and faster access to structured data. Then there's the Notebook Agent, which lives inside Notebook LM for Enterprise. This one turns BigQuery notebooks into AI-powered research and modeling tools. It can run exploratory data analysis, generate features for machine learning, and even build models on the fly. It doesn't stop there. It can summarize findings, generate FAQs, and create curated knowledge bases for teams. It's like having an AI research assistant embedded directly in your workflow, making analytics feel less like a grind and more like a conversation. The third is the Looker Code Assistant. Looker has always been Google's platform for data visualization and dashboards, but building those dashboards usually requires a lot of technical know-how. With this assistant, you can just type questions in plain English and it produces charts, queries, or even Python code. It also explains how it got the result and suggests what to look at next. Because it's tied directly into Looker's semantic layer, the answers stay accurate to business definitions, which is critical when you're making decisions from the data. The database migration agent is built for a completely different pain point, moving from old databases to modern cloud systems. Anyone who's gone through that process knows how risky it can be. This agent reviews your schemas, stored procedures, and functions, and automatically converts them into formats that work with Google's databases, like Spanner or AlloyDB. It even sets up continuous replication, so downtime is close to zero. Developers also get side-by-side -side comparisons of old code and new code with explanations so they can validate everything. For companies looking to modernize, that's a huge time and cost saver. And finally, there's the GitHub agent, also known as Gemini CLI GitHub Actions. This one lives right inside GitHub and automates the routine work of managing repositories. It can triage issues, label them, review pull requests, and even generate tests when tagged. It's fully open source and customizable, so teams can adapt it to their workflows. For developers, it's like having a tireless collaborator that handles the background noise, letting them focus on the code that actually matters. The bigger picture is that these aren't just tools. They're part of a move toward autonomous developer agents. Instead of writing code snippets here and there, they're handling full workflows, building pipelines, migrating databases, managing repos, and producing insights. So what do you think? Is Google laying the groundwork for a whole new phase of AI? Or are they just throwing experiments at the wall to see what sticks? Drop your thoughts in the comments, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.